Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Untitled Reviews. Now, uh, in a recent article uh, on the blog, you'll have heard me um, that discussed uh, 10 years of Chrome OS. You'll have heard me discuss that uh, Chrome OS is a fantastic operating uh, system for those budget uh, machines like the Spin 513 and the 314 from Acer that we featured uh, on the channel relatively recently. But for those slightly higher end machines uh, or mid-range machines from 500 quid upwards, Chrome OS has found itself a little bit lost. And that's certainly the case uh, with this next Chromebook offering, the uh, Acer Chromebook 714, which fundamentally finds itself at a difficult price point. Given the fact that it's more expensive than the majority of Chromebooks out there, uh, and also a price point that approaches the cost of uh, some decent and uh, slightly more portable Windows 10 laptops. It's got the specs to justify that cost, though, with its 8th uh, gen uh, Intel i5 processor and 8 gigs of RAM, offering plenty of performance um, for mobile computing. Uh, but fundamentally, with uh, um, Windows counterparts like Microsoft Surface Laptop Go, offering uh, slightly more up-to-date um, innards as well as uh, the functionalities and freedoms that come with Windows, uh, the 714 may not be the best Chromebook for the job. However, with a full uh, full HD 14-inch display and good battery life, there's still uh, plenty of reasons to buy this if you're happy to, to move from Windows to Chrome OS. There are plenty uh, of different versions of this particular laptop available. Um, offering either i3 or i5 processors and all sorts of storage options. This particular version comes with an Intel Core i5-8250U, 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs worth of eMMC storage, which all clocks in at the price of 600 quid, which is pretty steep for a Chromebook. Right, first things first, let's talk about design. Now, this Chromebook 714, given the facts, that it has this all metal and kind of gunmetal grey outer body does indeed look the part with a colour that could easily be mistaken for a rather premium uh, space grey MacBook, so to speak. Uh, and it certainly, on certainly from the outset, feels relatively nice with that metal. Uh, construction, making it feel uh, like a relatively premium product. However, when giving this a little, you'll knock, you'll see that it kind of sounds like it's a tad hollow uh, and the relatively thick bezels on the top and bottom that we'll come to when talking about design do make this thing look a tad dated combine that with the fact that it's running a three generations old processor now and the cracks begin to show having said that though that all metal outer shell does mean that it actually does indeed look the part and carries a fair bit of weight to it which means it's more sturdy than first anticipated at 1.6 kilos yeah it may not be the most portable laptop in the world but it means that it's actually lighter than its slightly um kind of budget cousin so to speak the uh, acer chromebook 314 that came in a steely blue color but um I suppose on the whole, to be honest, uh, from a design perspective, it's a, a relatively decent looking laptop. It's relatively thin. Uh, we'll come on to ports uh, in a future section, so we'll save on those for now. But this all grey construction does mean it looks pretty classy, even if it's a little bit hollow at first. On the speaker front, uh, the 714 once again probably doesn't uh, justify its price point. As with most budget or mid-range laptops, they're really nothing uh, to write home about, unfortunately, meaning that they're kind of passable and they're relatively decent for the odd bit uh, of casual viewing. Uh, and the only real other big thing to note here, much like the other Chromebooks that we've tested, um, Acer have mounted the speakers on this um, entirely downwards facing, which can hinder overall performance if placed on soft surfaces like any blankets or beds. But if you put it on a relatively hard surface like a desk or a table, probably where it's meant to be, um, that kind of muffling isn't as pronounced as it perhaps could be. I am happy to say, though, that despite this uh, this laptop's misgivings by way of its uh, slightly hollow design and um, relatively okay speakers, that for 600 quid you are at least getting a decent keyboard trackpad and also a fingerprint sensor as well. It's one of the only higher-end Chromebooks that I know of to feature a fingerprint sensor, and but it's nice to see Acer including one here. It sits just below the right arrow key. Uh, in case you're interested. The keyboard that Acer have put here feels relatively solid uh, and keys are decently tactile and firm. And unlike some more budget-oriented Chromebooks, the um, the keyboard here is actually backlit, uh, which is nice to see, meaning that this is a good option for working after dark. The fact that it comes uh, with the fingerprint sensor as well just adds another layer of security and indeed uh, peace of mind. Now, the um, comparisons to MacBooks continue. You'll see I said that it had a, a space-grade construction uh, in the last part as well 
Um, but I'm happy to say that the trackpad here that, um, that Acer have decided to bundle is positively massive uh, by comparison to, again, some of the more budget-oriented Chromebooks out there. Uh, and the fact that it, it's made of Gorilla Glass as well means that tracking is smooth and accurate and there's plenty of space for your fingers, which is absolutely ideal on a laptop such as this. Good times uh, continue to, to roll for this 600 quid Chromebook uh, as Acer, uh, much like with the budget counterpart of this, the 314 have bundled a relatively nice selection of ports here. Two Type-C ports for data transfer and charging, one high-speed USB-A, headphone jack, micro SD, and Kensington lock for security. It's nice to see Acer not only um, supporting more modern means uh, with Type-C charging, which has long been a feature of MacBooks uh, and phones for the last couple of years, um, but also include some legacy options as well, um, such as a USB-A and some nice expandable storage with a micro SD, which meaning you could uh, theoretically take this 128 gig uh, and turn it into probably upwards of kind of 600, 700 gigs of storage if you pay through the nose for a micro SD card. But nonetheless, it's nice to see Acer trying to make up, um, kind of trying to make up the price point that little bit more with uh, the 714's port selection. Right. So uh, onto the display front uh, of the Chromebook 714. Well, Acer, unlike some of their more budget Chromebooks, has provided the 714 with a 14-inch 1080p IPS panel that's also touch-enabled, uh, which is rather nice. So it's a pretty decent display, pretty standard display uh, that comes with a 16:9 aspect ratio. But one thing I will say, though, as you'll notice uh, with this wildlife footage that we've got rolling around, is that the bezels that are on the 714 are noticeably large which does mean that the overall screen to body ratio uh, with this particular laptop is a little low for my liking. I'm somebody that likes a rather modern uh, design laptop. This is where even more budget Chromebooks like the Spin 513 and the 314 actually win over this more expensive counterpart. And considering um, that this is one of the more expensive Chromebooks out there, it's fair to say that its screen actually falls short. Uh, on the part of image quality. And take a look at a few shows on BBC iPlayer, Amazon Prime, or even the um, the wildlife footage that we've got rolling around here. Colours do show up a little bit fuzzy and probably a, a tad dim. You'll notice that it's on full brightness and things aren't as perhaps uh, sharp as they could be. That latter point can probably be attributed to the 254 nits of brightness here, which on paper sounds pretty good. HP's Pavilion 15, the top of the line model that we included previously, only has 250 nits. But for my liking, in comparison, to other laptops at this price it is perhaps a smidgen dim for me although uh, viewing angles that it offers are pretty decent as well as the fact that the 714 here has a rather matte panel that's great for usage in brighter settings but just be aware that that uh, the brightness levels and rather dim colors may not be ideal for prolonged binging sessions you're probably better off finding a laptop uh, with a much better display for this specific price if you're going to be binging anything uh, on netflix or amazon prime uh, with all their brand new releases that seem to come out pretty much every week these days now for your uh, for the 600 quid that you're going to be paying uh, for the 714 you probably do expect some half decent performance even if this thing is just a standard chromebook now with this uh, particular one packing an 8th gen uh, intel core i5 8250u uh, and 8 gigs of ram uh, it's got plenty of performance and that can easily handle any basic apps and the day-to-day -day workload um, the fact that this, even though it's a three generations old processor now, the fact that this 714 runs an 8th gen i5 means that this thing remains snappy and responsive in activities like web browsing and video viewing. Um, and its 8 gig of RAM gives you more than enough headroom for any um, any tasks you plan uh, to be doing. I'm happy to say that though that there's no real slowdown even if you have loads of Chrome windows open. Uh, the fact that it also comes with 128 gigs of storage um, is I suppose a little bit on the low side if you want to store a lot of photos and videos but for 600 quid you're probably only going to be getting anything uh, from 128 up to probably 512 gigs worth of storage and if you can find a really good laptop for this specific price. Any issues with how the 714 performs therefore can be put down not actually to its hardware but uh, indeed its software. The fact it runs Chrome OS uh, and costs 600 quid is actually a major limitation uh, for those who want to do anything more than the basics. Although if you want something that's, that kind of just works, I suppose, when you'll hear a lot of people say that Mac OS or iPhones just work, um, the same can be applied to Chrome OS uh, as well. Its major competitors, uh, the Honor Magic Book 14 and Microsoft Surface Laptop Go, both run Windows 10, which 
I'm honest, um, is probably you're probably getting a little bit more laptop for your 600 quid if you do go with uh, like the Magic Book 14, for instance, uh, that does run Windows 10, um, offering that little bit more software based functionality that does inherently limit um, this particular Chromebook. If you are looking to spend 600 quid on a laptop, go and buy something that's Windows based. I'm not saying there's anything wrong uh, with the way the 714 performs, particularly, it's still got a decent uh, eighth gen processor and eight gigs of RAM uh, are decent enough uh, for Chrome OS, but anything more than that, to be honest, if you're going to want something that's more up to date um, that will also probably go the distance in terms of overall shelf life and use case. As much as I might uh, have a problem uh, with the 714's overall performance components, uh, blend of software and hardware, I don't have any problems uh, with its battery life. 600 quid, you're expecting something pretty decent, and the 714 does actually deliver. It's on this specific front where things actually begin to pick up. This rather high-end Chromebook managed to last just under 13 and a half hours, making it actually ideal uh, for those who want to complete a full day of work away from the mains, but also uh, the fact that this could actually run uh, for multiple days if you manage to balance brightness with battery life and all sorts of other things. Um, this actual figure means that it smashes the competition. Microsoft has been beaten off by five hours, uh, and the Honor Magic Book 14, which would normally be my pick for a, a Windows-based laptop under 600 quid, uh, finishes at just under nine hours overall uh, so really if you uh usually chromebook's the way to go with battery life and the 714 proves that to no end so uh in conclusion should you buy asus chromebook 714 well, in all honesty, I can't help but feel probably a tad underwhelmed by this specific Chromebook. And whilst its performance is relatively decent and its battery life is fantastic, there are a fair few shortcomings um, to, uh, to consider, but we'll get onto those uh, in a little bit of a moment. If you're somebody, though, who wants a relatively powerful Chromebook with a fantastic luxury life, uh, and you're somebody that's really set on saying, you know, I want Chrome OS and I want something that's going to do well, and probably more than I need to, but sod it, I'll pay for it anyway, then the 714 is a fantastic option. It offers relatively similar performance to a couple of those Windows-based counterparts and has fantastic battery life to boot as well. But if you're looking for more, um, more functionality, a sharper display, uh, better build quality, and the fact that you want something that runs... Uh, something that isn't Chrome OS, then there's plenty of other Windows laptops uh, for available under 600 quid that are going to do uh, just what you need them to do and so much more. Uh, this one is a bit of a hard sell, but then again, if you're somebody who just wants something to run Chrome OS and you've got money to burn, then the 714 is uh, a fantastic option. Go and knock yourselves out. Um, and really, all that really uh, remains to be said is that if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and indeed, of course, subscribe uh, to the channel to uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Links should be appearing on the screen right about now. And to check out the blog uh, in the description as well. There should be some posts down there that we hope you find uh, interesting and, of course, engaging as well. Uh, and also, just an aside, uh, there's also now an untitled merch store that's been around uh, for the last few months um, of, of being hosted on Spring, where you can rep the untitled brand, as it were, uh, in, all sort, in all manner of T-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, uh, mugs, wall art, pint glasses and all sorts uh, and everything in between and all sorts as well uh, the fact that teespring also ship worldwide uh, and all their stuff is a really good quality as well it's just a massive bonus so go and check that out in the description as well uh, and of course if you like any of the kit that we feature in these videos be it um this particular chromebook 714 the other couple of chromebooks that we feature on this channel or other laptops keyboards mice um, multimedia controllers, microphones, headsets, uh, and all sorts uh, else as well. There will be Amazon links down in the description of those videos where you can uh, pick everything up. So, uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>